Hey guys, hope you're doing well. A lot of you have been asking me about immigration options for teachers in the comments section and on my Instagram handle. So in this video, I'm going to talk about how teachers can migrate to Canada. So if you're a teacher or anyone related in the field of education, then do stick around. One of the greatest aspects about teaching in Canada is that there are numerous educational institutions and job opportunities to teach children and adults of valuable skills. The top three provinces to work in Canada as a teacher are Ontario, Alberta and Saskatchewan. In Canada, provincial and territorial governments operate their own schooling systems and they are responsible for regulating teaching jobs. Although there are similar rules across the country, there are a few local differences that depend on the province or territory that you wish to migrate to. Do watch the video till the end as I'll be telling you all the requirements of becoming a teacher in Canada, the certifications you'll need, where you can get these certifications from, how much your certifications will cost you, what your approach should be after you get your certifications and where you can apply for teaching jobs, whether it should be private or government teaching jobs, how much you'll be paid as a teacher in Canada and all the additional benefits that are offered to teachers in Canada. Hey guys, this is Jason from Dream Canada. If you're new to the channel, I show people how to save their money and immigrate to new countries through my videos without the help of any immigration consultants or agents or lawyers. You can find all process instructions for you to apply on your own through this channel. Subscribe now because all the information provided here is completely free and I answer all your queries in the comment section and on my social handles on Instagram and Twitter. So don't forget to follow us there as well. Many of you interested to move to Canada as teachers often ask are teachers actually considered as skilled workers? The answer is absolutely yes, they are. So this gives them the chance to apply for the Federal Skill Worker Program for their Canadian PR. A Federal Skill Worker in Canada is considered as someone with suitable qualities for the express entry pathway to apply towards their permanent residency. The basic factors that are determined for the Federal Skill Worker Program are the highest level of education, your work experience, age, language ability, your overall adaptability, and the current state of employment. If you're applying to move to Canada as a teacher, you may also apply through a provincial nominee program or a PNP for a guaranteed invitation to Canada if you're nominated by the province. What kind of education would you require to become a teacher in Canada? Now you need at least a bachelor's degree in education or a B.Ed followed by a two years teacher's college course specializing in a related field like social workers or children's study or psychology or any related field of your choice. Earlier you needed just a one year course but now it's changed to a two year course. Your B.Ed and other courses completed in your home country are also counted. How much can you actually make as a teacher in Canada or what's the actual salary of teachers in Canada? The average salary you can make as a teacher in Canada depends on the province you move to and the field that you specialize in. You'll mostly be hired on a contract which is either temporary or permanent. In Toronto, Ontario as an example, you'll often start on a temporary contract and you'll be made permanent after some experience which will pay you a good amount of anywhere between $24 to $29 an hour. In comparison, the salary for a teacher in Alberta is actually better at around $26 to $29 per hour. Private tutors in all provinces are paid well too. Now what exactly do you have to do if you're already a teacher in your home country? No matter how much teaching experience you have in your home country, after you land in Canada, you're going to have to complete your teaching certifications as teaching is a regulated profession in Canada. These certifications can take up to around 6 months to complete, after which you can be hired as a teacher in Canada. For teachers from most countries who've already completed their teacher education programs, you'll just need to complete a provincial certification course depending on the province you choose to move to. For instance, to teach in Ontario's public funded schools, a teacher must be certified by the Ontario College of Teachers. As a licensed teacher, you'll usually earn a credential that qualifies you to teach either a specific grade level or a certain subject matter. You can begin and complete the online application process even if you are residing outside Canada. Like other professional licenses, your teaching license will expire after a certain time period, so you'll need to renew it from time to time which is mostly done on an annual basis. 
The registration fees for teachers educated outside Ontario is $362 Canadian dollars and your annual membership fee will be $170. In order to be granted a provincial teaching certification in Canada, you'll need to have at least a two years bachelor's degree in education and complete the necessary amount of student teaching before applying for a certificate through your department of education or teacher's college in your province. These credentials can be obtained from your home country as well. Transcripts of your credentials will need evaluations, but not from WES like you do for your PR. Your WES ECA evaluation will not work to apply for teaching certifications. But you don't have to worry, as an example for the province of Ontario, your transcripts can be sent directly to the Ontario College of Teachers or OCT. All you have to do is instruct your university and they'll arrange your transcripts to be sent over directly to OCT for evaluation. You don't have to do anything or send anything yourself. The cost for this process would be around $762. Depending on the province, you may also be required to pass a teacher certification exam. You'll also need to provide a language proficiency test which is your IELTS academic test in which you'll need to score a minimum CLB 7 at least for Ontario. The IELTS general training test you may have completed for your PR will not work here. You'll need an IELTS academic test report. You'll also need a math proficiency test which can be completed online. Also, you need to have your PR status to apply as a teacher in Canada. You cannot apply for a job as a teacher on a work permit or a student permit. You'll also be interviewed over multiple rounds and there'll be a thorough background check over your past teaching experience. You'll also need a police background check or a PCC. A good example of a teaching course if you're planning on moving to Ontario is George Brown College in Toronto which has a two-semester teaching program called the College Teachers Training for Internationally Educated Professionals, which is a postgraduate program costing about $7,600. Certification programs like these are designed to provide intercultural and professional communication skills and Canadian experience as well to help prepare internationally educated post-secondary teachers such as yourself for teaching in a Canadian community college or other adult educational institutions. These courses will differ in each province, so you'll have to do your research depending on the province you wish to migrate to. Now after you've got all your certifications and evaluations, what should your approach actually be to find a teaching job in Canada and should you go for a government teaching job or a private teaching job? The thing to remember here is that just as your home country, the government jobs in Canada too are more chilled out and they offer more job security. With private teaching jobs, you'll always be on your toes and there's absolutely no job security. Government teaching jobs in Canada, however, are more difficult to get compared to private teaching jobs. Another thing to keep in mind is that in Ontario, for instance, many people concentrate on the Greater Toronto Area and they think that there are no job opportunities outside the GTA area. What you may not know is that Ontario is a huge province and if you don't manage to get a job in the busy city centres, Ontario also has a lot of developing rural areas where getting a teaching job is much easier and you might even be paid better in these rural regions because of the lower competition. The next thing that comes to mind is, is there an actual demand for teachers in Canada? The answer is yes, there surely is. In fact, teachers and special educators are among the top in-demand jobs in Canada. Education is really important in Canada just like the healthcare field. For people who come to Canada from different countries too, the demand for teachers is strong. Another important point is that what are the benefits that teachers get in Canada? Teachers in Canada get various additional benefits that are more than those offered to PR holders or citizens. For instance, extended health benefits like eye care and eyeglasses and even additional physiotherapy and massage services for when you travel depending on the company tied up with your educational institution. Apart from that, employment insurance, between 2 to 8 weeks of paid vacation time, vacation pay, dental cover, group life insurance, long term disability, pension plans and even a professional development fund which is set aside for a teacher's professional development which may be a lump sum that's administered based on the needs of a district or it may also be a percentage of a teacher's annual salary. Next, does your accent actually matter if you're coming from another country? Canada has two main languages which are English and French and your accent won't really matter as much 
as Canada is a multicultural country and the country has a fair share of different races, cultures and ethnicities. A different accent won't be a big problem at all and it just depends on how comfortable you are and in which field or area of teaching education you would like to work. Alright guys, so that was how you can move to Canada as a teacher. For more immigration and travel tips, subscribe to this channel now. Do like the video if you like the content and comment which profession you would like to hear about next. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe for regular updates on immigration and don't forget to follow us on Instagram as well. I wish you the best of luck for your application and hope you have a great day.